trying to forget. It's not like I was a loser. It's not like I didn't pass. See, it has to do with what happened to AJ, our class pet. <laughs> we had this tradition on every Friday. One of us was picked to take him home. Exciting, right? Well, I finally asked Miss Adams, could this be my day? I thought maybe if I'm verbal, I could go home with this gerbil tonight. But my dad was allergic, and my mom was miraphobic. It's a real thing. I knew exactly what this situation would require. Well, mom showed up at carpool. I stuffed AJ in my pocket, but forgot about him till our nanny found him in the dryer. Whoops! I fake sick the whole next week, too afraid to tell all my friends that poor AJ was dead. <laughs> Katie Thompson told me that killers burn in hell, but Miss Adams took my hand and she said, Oh, life goes on, things will be okay. of his parents' immigration to the States. He looked at me with pride and said, I'd like for you to have it, because your heritage can teach you more than what you learn in class. Well, I misplaced the paper, but that night at Beta's party, my friend was drunk and found it just in time to wipe his... You see where this is going? We packed the car and headed home, and everything was fine, till I told my family their gift had been... Stained. Grandma said a prayer for me, Mom began to cry, but my father stopped the car and he said, oh, life goes on, things will be okay, <laughs> though our family history is crapped upon, tomorrow is a brand new day, everyone makes a couple mistakes. Just samples, small examples of mistakes I made and stupid things I did. That's why I'm so afraid to raise a kid. So, why would you choose me to raise a kid? Drop him. What if things don't turn out okay? What if I forget to feed him? What if I start to need him too? And he goes away. What if I make just 
last one mistake.